Hey Sagittarius, how is it going? Welcome to Truly Divine's channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great reading for you guys for the first two weeks of August. So let's just dig in. Let's get started. We're going to start off with your Oracle card. So today says, I have the power to direct my own thoughts. Your thoughts do create the reality that you live. And one of the most exciting things about beginning the process of deliberately focused thought is that the law of attraction will bring you evidence of your improved thought immediately. And while old patterns may be hard to break and you may slip back into old patterns from time to time, Evidence of your effort will be undeniable to you, and before long, with much less effort than you spend trying to dodge negative conversations or train another into better behavior, all of your relationships will improve. So, kind of what I'm feeling for Sagittarius for the first two weeks of August is kind of just like watch how you approach people. You know, watch your actions, watch your choices of words, um... Just realize that what you're putting out into the universe is all ultimately going to come back to you. That is what I'm feeling. Um, you know, watch your habits, habits, patterns. Try to avoid spending a lot of your time and energy, Sagittarius, in dealing with negative people. Try and keep your circle positive. Try and keep yourself positive. I know that's harder than done, but I really feel like that is the message for you guys. I don't know if there's been something going on. I mean, the cards aren't bad, um, your cards for the first two weeks. But I do get a sense of you guys maybe feeling on a path of being in, like, an uncertain state. With that, we start off your reading with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands talks about burdens, Right talks about feeling like you have the weight on your shoulders. It, it talks about needing for you to kind of just stop where you are in your life and re-examine what you want. Um, this talks about looking at some type of situation differently. So if there's something going on in your world, if there is something that you need to re-examine, um, that is what you're calling, that is what you're being call, called and asked to do. I feel like you could just be going through life right now carrying on a little bit too much Sagittarius. So maybe taking a step back and realizing you don't have to accomplish everything in one day. You don't have to take on a lot of goals all in one day. You don't have to get the housework done all in one day. It could just be something so simple and small, but it's knowing that you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help. Um, it's about balance, right? We have the Queen of Pentacles as well. This is about balance, guys. This is about you know, yes, you want to go the extra mile. Yes, you want to get things done. Yes, you want to get things uh, accomplished. Because when things are, are put away, when things look neat, when your house is clean, you know, when when things are in place, things feel right. And when things are all over the place, when, you know, things are piling up at home or they're piling up at work or they're piling up at school, it may feel like you're not getting anything done. And that's kind of what I'm seeing with Sagittarius is that this is a time where you need to kind of do like a to-do list and just check off a few things every single day to get to the bigger things. Because I feel like you guys can be like overdoing it. Um, I just feel like you guys are really... As much as you're trying to get things accomplished, you're not actually getting anything accomplished because you're just, like more things are being added to the list. I feel like this is a time for you guys to remain open to understand and have a leap of faith that, you know, things that are coming to you are going to be of your value, of your highest good. And I feel like there is definitely opportunities coming your way, guys, because we have the full card here. I get a sense that they're with a Prince of Pentacles here. This is about needing to look at a situation from a different approach. This could be you needing to understand why the things are happening, why things are happening the way they're happening. This is you needing to just go with a flow um, to, to continue on sticking with your goals and your dreams, regardless of what anyone says, regardless of what anyone tries to tell you. I feel like you guys have this thing like 
have this plan in motion and you want to work on it, but you're going to have obstacles. Obviously, you're going to have challenges and you're going to be able to move past that. I feel like this is kind of you're going to have a person who's going to block you because they that's their that's their goal. That's why they're here. You know, they were sent here to be like a blockage. You need to just go past them. You know, they're not worth the drama. They're not worth the negativity. They're not worth getting upset about. I feel like you need to pass this person because they're going to leave you with like that stubborn, uncertain feeling and you're going to be stuck not knowing what to do. <clears throat> I feel like this is going to be in that moment with the four of pentacles here where you're going to have to not be afraid of taking risks. You're going to have to take back your control. You're going to have to, you know, feel more stable and secure where you are in your life. I feel like whoever this blockage is, whoever this person is that wants to keep you, um, if you sell yourself short or sell yourself out, um, they're eventually going to take over you. Um, and I feel like you have the key to change this. You have the key to open up do new doorways for yourself, new opportunities, but it's kind of, you putting yourself first, honestly, that, that's exactly it, is you putting yourself first and knowing that, hey, you know, I do deserve this happy ever after. I do deserve this new beginning. I do deserve this job or this love or whatever it is that you guys have been manifesting, Sagittarius. It's you knowing that you deserve it, you know, and not letting anyone take that away from you. I feel like... You know, as we're coming into September, as we're coming into a new school year, for a lot of you, um, I feel like there is, you know, school and career, you know. I feel like there's new opportunities coming for a lot of you, new job offers, um, maybe a higher position because we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel like you could even be um, going for a job that makes more money. Um At the end of the day, it's going to be caused by divine timing. At the end of the day, it's going to be, you know, you choosing to lit that fire back in your life. It's going to be your choice to um, allow these things to happen because you know you deserve them. I feel like you need to let the past go. If you haven't already, you really need to forget about what you haven't been able to change. This is about you now. This is about what you want. You know, there is so much, so much good stuff happening for you guys right now. Um, your dreams, you know, just let the stuff that no longer serves you go so that when that stuff, that other good stuff comes in, you guys are going to be totally ready for it because there, like I said, there's going to be people in your life who are going to try to burn that fire out because they have no dreams and no goals for themselves and they're going to hate. They're obviously going to hate seeing you do as good as you are. So they're going to try to burst your bubble or take down your flame. I feel like they're for Sagittarius in the love section. I feel like there, there could be two people coming together in the month of August. Um, I feel like there's lots of attraction because we have the two of cups. So there's lots of attraction. Yeah, five minutes, Lily. Um, this is just a time with the Two of Cups where you really have to work on yourself. You know, you you are number one, like I said, and you have to be the best version of yourself if you want that life of love and commitment and you know, stability and security and trustworthy, then you have to, it all starts with you, right? There is birth, you know, princess of cups. This is also marriages. This is also engagements. I've been seeing this as well. You know, some of you getting married, some of you getting engaged in August, you know, something unexpected helping someone having a baby, you know, this is all stuff that's coming through for Sagittarius. So I really feel like like the month of August is really going to be great for you guys. Um, it's going to be full of happiness, full of um, abundance. Things are changing. Things are happening. We have completion with the world here. 
you know, this is just looking at something from a different perspective. Like I said, looking at something from a different point of view, you know, looking at something with a different outlook. So with that, your Oracle card, we're going to start, it says, with love. Tears to you. Did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully opened. Then you can decide to stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is a key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Loving you so much, always and forever. i read one more. This one says, be fabulous. Dearest you, are you taking yourself, are you, sorry, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all of that and start having fun. When you stop fix fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly, and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh or call that one friend you know that we're marine. Remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddily you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting and you will be ready to receive in a perfect timing the bounty that spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? That is what I have for you, Sagittarius, for August 1st to the 16th. No, I'm sending you guys all love and light. I will check later with you guys um, in the middle of August. Take care. Love and light. I'll see you again.